Create some things. Why does he always say let's create some things whenever he gets here? All right. Let's have a little exclamation point next to it. So I'm just making sure that everything is what copacetic. What? What? Something's out there. Something's out where? Just happened. I don't see anything. Attacking the, the gunner base. I don't even know if I'm in range. That sounds like the, the, the other ones are firing. What happened? Well, you guys are really outrunning your your artillery. Although I tell you, what, I didn't know that not know that they had that kind of range. That's impressive. Anything else out there we're gonna have to deal with? Yep, we got problems. The Saltron. Where are you going with like your fists? I gotta up arm these people. Okay, gang, don't don't outrun your your guns here. Jeepers! What is that assault trying to end up with? I want the parts. Where's this? Oh, there it is. Fusion cells, stuff. Well, let me say this. So far, assuming these guys don't get kited out again by the gunners, which kind of live up there, way up there. What are you doing, Ada? That went better than it did last time. Yeah, that's you heard what I said. Do you want to see that part? Watch this.
happened? You're out in the open! <laughs> What the? I spent the rest of the time trying to find some way to get up on top of the overpass so I could kill all that stuff, whatever they were trying to shoot at. And that was completely unsuccessful. I found out later that apparently the, the skybox is so tall for the Finch Farm that you could actually build stairwells all the way up there and build the parts of the settlement on the overpass. Which means you can actually put a whole bunch of turrets up there so that whenever the gunners respawn, they get completely blasted to smithereenies. We're going to have to look into that. Fit. It's cleared already. I'm here. I'm at the slog to report. How can that... I'd like to trade some items. Okay. Okay, maybe if I reload a previous save? Hopefully this was save was after the whole complete craziness. Looks like. I don't see the assault. Oh, there's the assault run. Good. So now if we go to this log, might be just in time. Still stopping off at the uh, the beach. I mean, I, I, I cleared. I went through the whole problem of clearing the settlement. They shouldn't fail it. I should automatically complete. Now I'm looking at another dirty bed. A dirty, dirty, burnt, 200-year-old mattress. Okay. Now, let's see. Where is in the bed? Get to him before it fails. Get to him before it fails! Where is he? Growing well. I don't want to pick corn. Huh. 
I need to assign someone to this. I cleared that place out for you. Should be safe for your friends to move in now. Nice to have some good news around here for a change. All right, just made it. So I need people to probably show up there now. There's a lot of problems with that Selma, but we'll deal with that another time. Oh, let's deal with it now. Let's show you here, around the place. Yeah, this is Crypt Manor. When they say, isn't interesting, isn't that something moving, or just a trick of the light? Most of your companions will think this is a creepy, creepy place, because it's a creepy, creepy place. If you move the dead bodies of the feral ghouls that you killed when you cleared the place out, they return to their original positions of where you killed them. You can't clean the place up. The reported reason for this is supposedly this guy. They believe this feral ghoul stuck up in here is somehow driving all of that and controlling the guy hanging over the uh, thing. That's what they say on the, the Wikipedia, at least. Go down through here. It is a creepy pace. Now the other problem is is that these ghouls reanimate. They'll respawn even after it's. Now you got this guy. He doesn't bother anyone unless you bother him, and then he goes completely freaky. If you go down the basement, what you find here, and you've, I'm not sure if I have a video when I cleared this place or not. Did I do that? I don't know. What you will find. Here's a messy place with Theodore Krupp and Theodore Krupp's terminal. And what you find out is that Theodore survived the war as a ghoul. He took a lot of radiation. All of his family turned to ghouls. And then he was the only one to maintain his marbles. Everybody else had their, uh, kind of went crazy here. Went feral. And he didn't want to kill them, so he kept them locked up in the basement for 200 years while he tried to train them to be human again. At least that's the story. Obviously this didn't really happen, boys and girls. Don't get yourselves afraid. We're talking about a video game here. It's a story. Don't let the creepy black screen make you afraid. But anyway, oh, that's even creepier. But the point is, is that this makes it a really, 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 really crappy place to set up a settlement. Because these guys reanimate. What I've had to do... And there's a glowing one in the upstairs. Let's see. Where does that go? If you go upstairs... You can't build downstairs, by the way. There is... Hey, do we ever... Okay, we can... Well, at least knock this guy off. The whole... Alright, that's just... That's kind of funny. That's just kind of funny. You'll notice I have a gun here. I have a gun here. I have a gun here. Somewhere up here, a glowing one respawns. Or up here. Probably more up here. And so I have it set up so that many, many guns will try and completely annihilate him. Or any other uh, ferals that suddenly appear out of the night. They're all level 7 heavies. I think there's one regular machine gun. If we come across here... I wonder if we can add any guns. So, I wonder if we can put some... We have enough stuff. We're a little low on, uh, on junk. Low on oil. Low on fiber optics. But we'll still have to get some more stuff to build this up a little bit here. There can be bad, bad things that happen. This is a creepy place. I'll have to look up what uh, Krupp Manor is supposed to actually be, you know? Is it a dilapidated house of seven gables or something? I mean, what are they doing here? But, needless to say, I feel like there could be Lots of stuff lurking out here. It's pretty easily defensible. This guy doesn't bother anyone unless you bother him. 
though I may set a gun up aimed at him, put a couple right, right there, and then just see if he reacts to it. He keeps coming back, too. So this is basically a ghoul haunted house. Oh, no, we have an actual settler. People are showing up. This is a spectacularly bad idea. This is not a good place for them to be. Now, I've tried to make him as comfortable as popular, as, popular, as, custom, as comfortable as possible. They've got plenty of food. They have got a lot of guns. A lot, a lot of guns. A lot, a lot of guns here. Because there is somewhere over that way. Um, periodically. I believe it's over that way. If it's not over that way, then it's over that way. Maybe more over that way. That's why I'm putting some more guns up here, and some more guns on the roof, and some more guns over here. There's a Queen Michael Urk that will appear, and I don't know if it comes all the way up here, but it could. So we've got Michael Urk problems, we've got the ghouls come back, we've got one person. We have, like, one settler? Two settlers. Two stupid settlers, and they're gonna not... Why? I'm not trying to attach anything here. We need to get up Alright, so if we're going to have two settlers, we better get a bunch of settlers, because when these things start coming out of the woodwork... Power... Ah... Recruitment beacon. There we go. Look at that other stuff doing the... light box and a powered speaker and a terminal and all kinds of fun stuff. So, now we've actually put the uh, recruitment beacon up to gather more peoples. The numbers are fine. we got 21 beds. we got food will keep increasing as much as they need it. I don't know how many carrots I've planted, but they can live on carrots for a long time. And they better keep their eyes sharp because... That is a creepy place. To the point where, you know what? It's not a bad plan, really. I don't know. Can we wall this off? You know what I mean? I mean, wonder if we... Put up a shack wall there. You see where I'm going with this? And then maybe... <laughs> Will he let me do this? Without going hostile. Come on, don't stop doing that. I just wanna... Ah, fine. We'll do it that way, if you're so insistent. Ah, the snappiness of this is just so annoying. Okay, if we put this right in the middle... Let me do that. Okay, I don't think he can get out now. There. That should take care of the uh, whole manor house. We've basically boarded it up. I don't know if stuff can climb out of it. <laughs> it we've trapped Ada. Ada. Okay, fine. Ada. Hey. What can I do for you? Over here. Certainly. Now don't go back. 
in there. There we go. So the haunted house is pretty well sealed off. I don't know how often the stuff comes back. We got some guns up. We have some stuff guns up up there, and I could probably sneak my way back up there to put more guns up there. I'll just take a wall down, go in, put more guns, take a wall back out. Stuff could come off out that wall off the porch, but I don't know what the odds of that are really. It'd be an interesting experiment. Can we put one up there high enough? Come on, come on, there. Okay. Don't get me wrong, it is still a creepy, crappy um, place to live. There's not a lot of, not a lot, you can look, there's not a lot of land here. There's really not a lot of build area. Um, if anything comes from over this way, it's going to get completely vaporized. But we do need some more guns aimed at the house. And some more guns aimed in this direction. So I will endeavor to do that as time allows. Especially since there's going to apparently actually be people here. So that was why I was putting off. Uh, acknowledging that this was done for so long. Not only the fact I don't want another radiant quest. And uh, I don't even want to particularly be here, so let's fast travel someplace else, anywhere else. Let's go back to the beach. I like the beach. It's not in a really safe place either. But, you know, it's not in a creepy place. Yes, periodically some stuff comes up at it out of the water, but then there's a lot of guns aimed at that, so... It's just, it's just some entirely more friendly, jovial, water-producing place with a giant blimp hanging over it that's kind of foreboding. But I mean, you know, other than that, look, we got a bunch of happy people here. They're eating noodles. We've got disco balls going on. I think it's a good, it's a good scene. Do 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 do. Or I don't know. Are there any good scenes in this game? Really, really. This is the Black Knight, everybody. Have a great night.